Hello there. 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 And welcome to the Hell Zone in the Darkest Dungeon. We're here for some ASMR and to dive into the darkest, deepest places of our mind and the darkest, deepest dungeons of our mind as well. Um, we're on week 18. We've been doing excellently. Uh, I think we lost zero people last time. And I'm sure we'll just continue. To, okay, well, all right, maybe. Maybe I'm ignoring a couple of close calls, but um, that's not what history remembers. History doesn't remember the the, the people who almost died. They remember the people who lived, I right? They just time has passed since I sent that letter. Um, and we've got, look at this, so many people lining up. And so few people who have died. Maybe, okay, maybe to joke a baby. And these guys all got to wiped out all at once. But what's important is we lived, right? Um, and you can all be part of the journey. Um, R.I.P. To, to Bob Swass. Uh, everyone can join in the fun and pick a name that you'd like to be and potentially a class as well uh, remembering that we don't have unlimited slots though so it is it is a bit limited um, but you know what we've got three now in the hopper we've got a, one for a festival named Jeebus we've got uh, Arno Dorian from Assassin's Creed who I don't know who that is but Bull Panda will get them in here and zombies also would like any class we want named uh, Giggles McJiggles, which if that isn't a name to aspire to, I just don't know what is. Um, the Vestal has been hard because we have not been offered a Vestal in what feels like forever. It feels like the game has said, you know what? You have mistreated your vestals, and you don't get any more. We're being uh, punished without vestal, no vestals for us. Hey, Vox, all things are going well. Uh, remember, folks, you can also donate those points if you want to our monthly challenge for an ASMR-only video to go up on YouTube. Type exclamation point new vid if you want to see the old one that went up. Ago, and that's at youtube.com slash hellzone club. Uh, I'm gonna try to be better at remembering to say that all this stuff because a lot of the time I only remember to say, Hey, you know, I've got like socials and stuff, and I remember it at like at the end of the stream when everyone's already asleep, which maybe doesn't help. So I'm just saying to hear it up front youtube.com slash hellzone club, twitter.com slash hellzone club and also discord if you want that one just type exclamation point discord into the chat all right let's let's hop into this okay um so we have our team set up right here i don't remember what they're gonna hop into oh no minor medical issue I hope it's very minor, and that it leaves you the fuck alone. It's been long enough into the video for me to say fuck. I didn't pay attention, but listen, it's worth it. Um, okay. Uh, so we have to do Vestal, Assassin, which isn't a class, but we'll, fit, we'll make it fit. And then Giggles McJiggles. Um, Alright, so let's see. Uh, up here. Okay. I don't have 
enough papers, paper deeds, um, to boost it. So actually, we can only hire one person total. Right, so we don't have a Vestal. No Vestal. Um, and so that means we can get either an assassin or anyone else that we want to name Giggles with Jiggles. Um, let's see, so an assassin, I feel like you could make this guy, this guy kind of looks like an Assassin's Creed character, you know? Um, I think a highwayman is kind of like an assassin. You know, I remember Plague Doctor, they can be like an assassin in a way as well, because I don't remember, if you remember Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, um, they had like a multiplayer mode in that game where you could like be um, a dude and like you'd go around and try to kill each other. I remember that Plague Doctor was one of those characters. So canonically, Plague Doctor is also an assassin. Murray Short, thank you for following. Welcome to the Hell Zone. Um, you know, I guess a Crusader, that would be like the, uh, what, was it, what do they call the anti-assassins? They're like the... The, the Illuminati guys, who are not like they're Illuminati, but called something different. Templars, Templars. Crusader, basically a Templar. Um, grave robber. Well, okay, it's more like you're cleaning up after the assassins at that point. Um, abomination. That's okay. In what? What? Which one was it? There was one of the um, Assassin's Creed games that was really bad, and that's an abomination, right? So that, like Assassin's Creed 3, that one was an abomination. I don't think anybody likes Assassin's Creed 3. So that could be an abomination. Really, anyone. A flagellant is an assassin to themselves. Ooh. And that's the most dangerous target, if you think about it. Okay. I'm liking a lot of these um, justifications here. Uh, is it, none of these characters we really need, per se. But maybe one of them would be useful to have a second on on staff. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so I, I did... I checked in with my other save. Over, like on Sunday because um, I initially started playing this game in when it came out on PlayStation um, and that's not what we're playing this on um, and I learned a couple things from the game that I had there that I didn't that I've been uh, neglecting um, and we'll get into a lot of that, uh, but yeah. So it's, it's we're we're making a lot of different choices that I as to the ones that I made, and that could be a very good thing actually, because I don't know if I. I mean, I never finished the game, so obviously uh, I must have made some mistakes, but I also learned some knowledge things that I that I've written down. Um, as to this, just what we need, so, okay. I think a class it might be good to have two of. Uh, Man-at-arms, I think they're pretty good. Uh, we might want... Actually a Hellion, but we have zero Hellions, which is... 
that doesn't even make sense. This is the hell zone, the hellions. It should be everybody, right? You should have more hellions than anyone else. Um, and Assassin's Creed 3 was the last one I played. After that, I was like checked out from the series. It's gotten a lot better since then, but I was like, I don't know. But yeah, like, I can't believe we don't have any Hellions yet. We've never been offered a Hellion. Which seems rude. Um, like, we're really light on healers, so maybe an occultist, but we don't have that as an option. as an offer. Okay. Well, maybe a crusader. I don't... <laughs> it's nice that we have a lot of options here. I wish there were better options. Hey there, great wizard. I don't know who who's that is. Oh wait, hold on. I remember now. It was the plate doctor, right? Demarcus. Demarcus. Demarcus is actually in the party right now. I don't remember who Ilma Dare is then. If Ilma Dare is your character, feel free to claim them. Um, just come to the Lost and Found uh, by 6 p.m. Uh, Specific time. Okay, uh, let's see. As you can see, 
Uh, it's it's a great trinket. It's got 10 accuracy and 10 damage. And basically for free. The main drawback for this one is that you have to live with the fact that it's called to power. Uh, which is not insignificant. Um, we've got the brutal hairpin. We've got the boots of much kicking. Uh, we've got the the legendary bracer, got the toy soldier, um, the book of sanity, the blasphemy from his vile. Uh, and now here's here's one thing that I learned, um, and that is some abilities target everyone in your party. This one, all right. The man at arms command uh, and bolster as well. I think. Uh, so with this one, it's plus five dodge, minus ten percent stress. So you know, I think that individually targeted, terrible. Who would use that? But this actually targets everyone in the party. And I don't know how you're supposed to know that. But that makes it really great. Ashmo, hey there. I am sorry to hear you're not doing great. I feel on a wave of depression coming. That is, I know that feeling. That is a terrible feeling. I hope that. Uh, that you can get through it, okay? Because I might tell you sometimes, sometimes you feel that coming and you're just like, well, that's gonna suck. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, sometimes, uh, all right, let's, let's just say, like, on Tuesday, I'd wanted to schedule a bunch of videos, and I was like, all right, not gonna happen. And I spent most of the day just kind of like staring into the void, being like, wow, time is passing. Well, how about that? Um, and that's definitely not as bad as it's ever been, but, you know, sometimes this, this stuff's got to happen. And you just got to do your best to get through it, you know? Um, so I think emboldening vapors targets everyone in the party. I am not entirely sure, um, but I was trying to look up like, um, like what the cases are. That this is true for. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that that's the case. Um, is that some of these skills seem like they're pretty, like, meh. But they actually do impact the entire party. So it's like a party wide buff. And that makes it a lot better because obviously it's four times as good. So with the Plague Doctor, we can do Noxious Blast, Plague Grenade, uh, Blinding Gas, and then Emboldening Vapors, right? Uh, this guy's just got all of them. Um, for the Man at Arms, we've got Retribution. Where's that one? Right there. Got Crush. Um, we've got Bellow and Defender Bellow. Defender. Where is that one? Defender. Okay. Um, and so instead I have this one instead for the stun, and I think that's okay. Uh, and for Nona Hellzone, we're just, we're just 
just happy, you know, we're just happy she's here, okay? Uh, the goal is like, you know, we, grandma doesn't get out a lot, okay? We're just taking her with us because grandma, grandma needs to get out every so often, okay? Take her out, it'll be nice. Uh, um, okay. Now, what were we going to do? Why three bedpans? Yeah, that's what I'm always asking. Right. Um, it could be this. This could be what it was. Okay, they're scared. They don't want to do this. Oh, this one probably, right? To go kill the siren. Let's try it. This is hold on, this is a good idea. Killing the siren with Nona Hell Zone. since actually I think we're trying to do this one because of the deeds so we can actually afford to have more people. Okay. Uh, now, are you all familiar with how in a lot of RPGs they'll have one character who's like, really bad, but you get bonus treasure or whatever, bonus money or bonus experience while you have them in the party. So, like, you're just sort of incentivized to bring them on just because they uh, give you benefits, and so you kind of want to just take them on when you're doing something that isn't too hard. Um, that's essentially what the antiquarian is because they will uh, gather antiques for you that you can sell for money um, but they are very bad in combat so I think bringing them to a boss might be ill-advised to say the least um, so we're gonna get some food some torches some shovels, and then we're gonna get some um, some of that good herb. I'm gonna get some of that good herb. We're gonna get some of that holy water. Then we're gonna get some of them good bandages and a key. Oh no, we already have a key. Throw 
one up on these guys. Then Is there a one-year sub-badge? Yes. Yes, there is. Um, I think I have one up to two years, I want to say. Okay. 
this works on everybody emboldening vapors wait does it it doesn't okay i thought it worked on everybody You see, this is interesting. So, all right, what is the difference? This is buff target with that one. And this one, also say buff target. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Like, I guess the only way to know if it targets everyone or not is to use it. And then you're just like, oh, I guess it affects everybody. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. We're just gonna try to, to heal people. versus unholy. I mean, that would be good to get rid of right now. Uh, calm, lazy eye. Okay, those would be good to get rid of. Alright, less stress and accuracy versus breath. Beast, more stress versus beast. How about, um, Let's get this. So let's put the holy water in here. The elder chant. Fear of unholy were removed. Okay, that's great. That's great. Because we're fighting a lot of unholy people. Like, if you're doing 15% less damage against that, that's not great. Or pass it by those books again. I don't know. Maybe I want to read those. Maybe. Maybe. Never. Okay, now 
what is this? Altar of Light. Obviously, that's a trick, right? Uh, Alt of Light. Okay. Ooh, you know what? This one, you don't even need to cleanse it. You could just touch it. Maybe I'll do some good damage. Right, because if everybody, well, we could also have. Let's go, no, let's let's go with you. So we've got a plus twenty percent damage now until camp, and we can't camp. So it's the whole time we're here. Let's... Oh, okay. Nothing's here. There's a box. That's just a box. Got a battle. Sometimes a battle. A battle's just a battle. Um, okay. We are going to... Star is born. All right, 
we know about this trap? The altar of light. Again, that one's just free damage. So let's, uh, let's get a nice prayer going. 20%. Sixty percent, seventy percent. That's the best shot. <sighs> Sorry. We knew it was coming. We still couldn't do anything about it. This one will be tough. That's it's not really going to get us a kill. Um, this one won't get us a kill either. So the only way we could like get actually someone to die here is we could do this on one of these two. That's maybe maybe this one. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Um, if I was a Pokemon, I'd be a coughing because I cough.
unless we're the the highest level we have is level three so it's like it's not super super high no matter who we go with um but here let's spin the wheel um well that's a little bit that's a narrow wheel let's widen that wheel who said that it wards off evil spirits well that was me I said it And I think that makes sense. Peepums is very strength oriented. Oh, what is this? An alchemy table. That's exactly what it's called. Shovel the water. 
repair the bandage. I think we can get rid of the shovel. We're not going to need the shovel realistically. Okay, we're at... Yeah, because this quest is over, like, here. It was five damage. We're okay. Come on. Come on. He's just trying to stir up the drama. His ancestor such a drama queen. Alright, two damage per round, so I need three damage. That'll be enough. Masterfully executed. Interesting. Minus 100% food consumed. Like, it just makes it so you don't eat food anymore. Um, the Book of Rage. That doesn't seem as good. some bonus traits here. What do we have? Unholy Hater. That's right. Hates that unholiness. Uh, but they don't like 
by getting healed by divine grace or comfort because they believe in science okay they don't believe in religious magic only science magic science magic is the only only real magic we all know this That's great. Um, Lound Loki. Ask what time it is. It's 10 p.m. PST. We're on the west coast of the U.S. Um, and zombies gifted a sub to Jenna. Oh my god, that's so nice of you. Jenna, hopefully that helps you avoid some of those nasty ads popping up. Uh, and Paipums had a night on the down, recovered 56 stress. That's great. Abby. Sorry, not a a I th You know, I read that as a name. Hi, I'm Abby Zombies. No, um, but Zombies was inspired with holy worship and wants to remain in prayer. I feel like this happened again. This, I feel like Zombies has been in holy sequestering for several weeks and I feel like zombies just doesn't want to come out and honestly I'm um I think we can actually let's see when did that happen ah uh, yes while praying I saw a glimpse of greater beings controlling destiny and he became uh, god fearing he also recovered 69 stress then um and yeah oh that did happen okay so every time i put zombies into the prayer chamber they never want to come out this is the second time in a row it's happened I'm just saying, give other people a turn, okay? I know you love your prayer machine. Wow, no one can pray. No one's allowed to pray this week. Uh, okay, so Voxel, very stressed out. That makes sense. You know, we heard that uh, she's going through a little medical issue, so I can understand being stressed out. Um, unfortunately, not a, you're, you can only drink while well, have fun. Let's see what we can get with this. Oh, we get a free upgrade. That's right. Ooh. What should we use our upgrade on? Maybe this one, since it's like a level five. Or this one, this is a level five weapon and armor upgrades. Could be pretty good. I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, so we can't do anything with this. So we only have one. Um, away. Drink and dance a merry jig while you have fun drinking your and dancing your merry jigs. Um, spark, looks like you got a little bit of a disease. So how about, how about we get that taken care of for you? Um, yeah, get rid of those bad humors. Okay, and then in terms of stress, uh, the only people we're really worried about, I mean, DeMarcus and Nona also have like a little bit. Cthulhu's okay, people 
drums is okay. Like, oh wait, look at, look at that. Nona Hellzone only wants to go to the brothel. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Nona. Damn, Nona, I didn't know it was like that. Shall also pray. I did maybe a little go, do a little peace through meditation. Okay, and then let's check out the stage coach. Oh, we got the Hellion. Hellion, yes. Hellion, yes. Gotta get a Sackerville in here, but they're not their name isn't gonna be Sackerville. Uh, this is going to be let's see. Uh, okay. I think it giggles McJiggles. Um, because they seem less assassin like to me. They are we thinking more more Arno Dorian or Giggles McJiggles? I'm getting a Giggles McJiggles vibe from this person. I don't know about you, but I f they feel very Giggles McJiggles like to me. Sometimes you gotta go with the vibes. So the Hellion looks like they're from like, you know, sort of a, um, I don't, I don't know, 
exactly what they look like, but they are from Boston, which is why they call things Wicked Hack. Hey, that's Wicked Hack. Uh, barbaric Yop. You know, that's how they pronounce things. Um, an Iron Swan. Ooh, okay, so in position one, they can hit the back row with that, which is pretty useful. See who's going to go on our journey. Um, so we still have to kill the siren, as you can see. Um, this one is not a very good like reward for that, though. The sanguine snuff. Uh, because I don't tend to mess with that bloodlust. I don't know, that sounds... That sounds scary. Um, the Brawler's Gloves. Extra damage in position one. Um, we can also do... Let's see. Epic. This one's a veteran. This one is... This one we've got... This one would get us... So don't feel like we're getting a very good reward for it. So maybe we should do this one. Could also try this one. They don't seem very excited about these propositions. I guess we could go with these level 3 guys. Oh, we don't have enough. We're at a weird, like, in-between spot where we have, like... So you need, like, level 3s basically to go on a level 3 mission and you need to have level 2 or lower to go on a level 1 mission Should be good for another mission if we wanted to. Uh, Giggle Mc. 
slice off and harvest. the reason you might have slice off is just because like otherwise it's not necessarily that great like neither of these two are like amazing or anything like that because I think the main ones you're doing is actually Battle Ballad and Inspiring Dune um, because this is one that does affect everyone I, I know because I did test it this is one of the ones that made me realize, oh, abilities just target, like, the party, and they don't tell you. They just target everyone in the party, and they just sometimes don't tell you, as, as far as I know. These two look the same. This one only targets one. This one targets everyone. It's like, how are you supposed to know? You just do, I guess. That's one of the little things in this where I'm like... The UI is a little bit It's like Not all the way there um, Takes a bit of Like Learning and experimenting To find out What things do In an environment where you can't always do that 
so we've got Giggle doing damage. Boom. We've got Obama dealing damage. Uh, we've got Donald dealing damage and also healing stress. We need a healer though. Cannot heal. Ashmo cannot heal. No one, no one can heal. Actually, no one can heal. I'm realizing this may be a bad thing. This may be actually terrible. Um, Ilmater can, uh, can do Reclaim, which is healing. Uh, it's not good healing, but it is healing. It's known as Hellzone, who can, can heal for uh, one to two. Um, and Cthulhu can self heal. But in terms of like actual healing abilities, we kind of don't have any. That's a bit of a problem, if you ask me. A bit of a pickle. Bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. 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 I've got just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. So we will need healing. I guess we could have Ilmater go and do that healing and sort of just kind of hope. maybe and uh this might be my worst party yet I want to say for anybody okay yeah so we can we can heal a little bit with that move oh boy Yeah, that looks the same to me. Once we're in for two rounds. 
can get your extra protection on this. skill chance. They've already got 30. They should be fine. How about... How about... 15% damage and plus 15% stress. This seems okay. Who has that book? The, the lower stress book. Again, sorry that I take so long to prepare. Uh, I always get, I always overthink everything, and this is probably why I never ended up finishing the game in the first place, because I always spend an hour thinking out everything I do, but you know what? That's just, that's just me being real, you know? If you're not overthinking every decision, are you really making any decisions, if you're me? No. All right. Um, and we're gonna get 13 torches. Then we're gonna get three shovels. And we're gonna get um, extra medicinal.
I don't know, less than maybe two more, two more bandages. Listen, we don't want to run out of bandages. Uh, we we are kind of we don't have heels. I'm a little bit worried about bleeding to death. Now they are as twisted as my own ambition. All right, we have to explore ninety percent of rooms, and how many are there? And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 90% of 14, that means, I believe, uh, it rounds up so you can miss two rooms. So, assuming that we can miss two rooms, we can miss out on these two and just sort of go... Actually... Is that less backtracking? I think that's the same amount of backtracking, no matter what. Okay. Well. Oh well, I guess we can't be smart. A great start, dude. Just, just not finding a trap immediately. I've got the left luggage. Let's get... Mushroom head. The old shroom head is here. And see, look, it's everybody. Everybody gets speed, accuracy, and crit. Okay, so we can do Reign of Sorrows. Or punish. Um, we don't want to be marked in this situation. That that would be not good. Um, but if we get these guys in the back, that might be pretty good. So that's three per round. Six to eleven on that. Yeah, maybe we can stun this guy in the back. Boom. And so then we can do yawp. Swan on the one in the back. If I could hack the one in the front, uh, I think. Ooh, that could be that could be a kill. It's just not just a little bit off. No groping, please. So they're dead. They need seven. Let's do... You know, I'm already so stressed. to 
seven and it gets bleed and they don't have a high protection amount. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. percent resistance yop so we've got minus 20 and minus 3 and okay so so when you do that you do kind of hurt yourself for a little bit you gimp that damage for a little bit but the good thing is 33 percent damage against stun you are right here. Um, we might want to do this though. Mark them because that reduces their protection. To the task's end. Let's push on to the task's end. Okay, we've got four of these. And you know what? Let's go to these slippery boots. And that. All right. So we'll need to go to this room no matter what. 60, 50, 90. Alright, you've got the best chance. Great job. Hold up. Okay. Nice sack. 100 gold in that sack. I think they do if you are marked. 
You see, I've used context clues. This is three damage. We gotta do nine. Will that be enough? I think we, I think maybe. Let's try it. Oh yes. Swan back here. I think we could get nine again. Double kill. Alright, spicy meatball here.
doesn't make your blood quicken. Some good ASMR to make your blood quicken. Blanket fire. Just firing all up on that blanket. And then, uh, so yeah, these guys, as I remember, can do the most damage because they've got that AoE. Um, but we can always try to finish them off like this. Like that. Uh, see, the slice and dice, now is bad. See, pretty good, pretty good. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right, this battle easy peasy. We're all done. This keeps up. We'll be we'll be like ready to go with all these people. Like no problem. himself. Wow. What are you gonna do? Destroyed. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay. Do we leave this behind? It's okay. It's 375 gold. Um, let's cure that blood. That blood bleeding. The mummified remains. I don't know that there's... Okay, if we do a bandage, we can get loot. Otherwise, we might get a
right now I just have to trek on back. Now here's the thing. When you camp, you get all of your light back. Like you go up to 100% light. Um, so I'm thinking about camping once we get to here. Because we actually know that we're not going to hit any bit battles. The only thing is, uh, we won't really be utilizing our um, health regaining properties of the camping if we do that we have one two three four five six rooms to go and one bad battle could be all it takes for that to break bad you know what I'm saying Nice. Okay, we got that one. Oh, that seems bad. The Shambler, Shambler's Altar. Uh, okay, so if we use a torch, we'll summon a Shambler. I don't think we want to do that. I don't think we want to summon a summon a shambler. That seems that seems like something you do when you have a good party. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So let's think. We have eight torches. might run out of torches, but I'd rather run out of torches than run out of health. You know what I'm saying? Running out of health is probably worse than running out of torches. We also might run out of food. If these guys keep getting hungry. Got the eerie spider web. This one was you get treasure with a bandage. We do seem to be Organizing this, it does seem a little bit like. Here, let's let's go with this. We could potentially get an extra slot with this shuffle, but we'll use it up naturally. I think. Okay. All right, now. some stuff. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? You know, this tells 
tells me tells me two things. One, we we don't need as many shovels as we have. Uh, two, we have four battles left, and that's it. So we can do two battles, rest, and then do those two other battles, and we're home free. Are you sure you don't want to steal this backpack, Donald? Donald's like, damn, this backpack had more shit in it. Okay, so we can go ahead and ditch extra shovel, leave the journals, no one cares about those. A shard of alien malignity. A shard of alien malignity. I've never seen this before. It's murderous and unforgiving, but it carries treasures that can't be found anywhere else. Uh oh. This guy, he's got like just like floppy flesh on his face. He appears to be, this appears to be like the back of a donkey. Like these are the back hooves of a donkey. It's standing on some other parts of a donkey. It's got like a deer with a crystal coming out of its mouth, like a rail gun. And then just some lower intestines exposed, which really that's a weakness. We should be able to exploit that pretty well. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves a little light here. not human. Eldritch. Just Eldritch. Um, has low bleed resistance, but high stun resistance. Oh, I forgot to switch our positions back. stun this guy. I wonder if that's just to get in your way, though. Oh, 13 to 26. Ooh, what if we get 26, though? Impressive. Holy shit. 38 damage. Damn. Obama. You know... Obama a lame duck. 
Look, not this guy. It has 80% protection. I don't know how that happened. I see 80 plus 80% 80 protection if HP is below 45. That is a bit unfortunate. Here, let's go. Let's get rid of that. is not going to cut it. Let's see. If we go for the stun, they have 85% resistance for that. Maybe we'll try that. Back to the pit. Hey there, Dance Fang. What's going on? Oof. Oof, doof. Okay. One damage. Resist. I 
likely that we'll get a stun. We can do two to three like this. We can do one to two and get a little bleed maybe. Dump resistance. outside. Holy shit. That's a lot of degrees. That's entirely too many degrees. Okay. One. Yeah, so that's not... Oh, it did take damage from that. Got five left. Five HP. Yes. Banished void. That's what we like to see. We love being banished to the void. Other pe other people, not us. Like them being banished to the void and not me. Dazzling mirror. Extra speed versus blood suckers. And stun skill chance versus blood suckers. That could be better than the bloodied fetish. I mean, he's allowed to have whatever fetishes he wants. But maybe, but maybe you might prefer a mirror to that fetish. A victory spin of the wheel. A victory spin. Victor, victory spin. Let's do a victory spin. All right, here we go. Victory spin. Victory, victory, victory spin. Victory spin. Victory, victory, victory spin. Victory spin. Victory, victory, victory spin. Victory spin. Victory spin. Now we can say to subscribe. Lost your streak. I don't know how that happened either. That's okay. All right. 
you know what? We're gonna do this. Okay. Wait. I can't do that. Why can't I do that? Do I have to be? Oh no. Oh no. Sky taint. Gross. Gross, we got sky tainted. I have bad news for everyone. We have to do this next battle without healing up. Okay, unless I turn the fuck around. Unless I turn the fuck around, go back. And then we go in because we're, we're low. We might, let's beep, 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 back it up. Oh, they don't like backing up though. They really don't like backing up. When they back that ass up, they... Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Uh, they hate it. They hate doing that. Gathered close in okay. tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. If we eat of our food. We'll get 25% HP back. If we eat half of our food, look at 10. I think this, the safest course is to do half because we might get hungry from now until the end. I'll look at him. Look at this bounty hunter just reading a piece of paper. He's like, oh, it's new in the old times. Are the Hellions just sitting there thinking about hell. Jester's like, hey, I'm gonna play a guitar guy song. Okay. Remove disease. That could be useful, actually. Um. The tiger's eye doesn't sound bad. This is how we do it. Playing takedown would be good if we we're up against a boss, but we're not. Could do minus 15% stress. We really got stressed out. and speed isn't great but but also we also could use these to go to the combat debuffs oh maybe maybe minus 50 stress 50 straight up okay you know what go for it Seven left. We can ah, uh, you know, you know. one. 
of more accuracy and crit for you. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And then, there. You have a heart of a panther. I got the heart of a panther. And the wings of a bear. Because it's midnight. For what foul use were these halls laid? The promise of safety. All right, we've got the light. We've got the promise of safety. Let's fucking go. Expensive, but I think it's worth it. All right, we open these. All right, okay. Dog time. It's dog time. Swan, nice, and we can do uh, finish him on you, right? I might get you. That no, I don't think so. You live every day. You only die once. Maybe they should call it. Yodo. They said Yodo. That's not good. I think our I think our boy here is going to death's door. Obama's on death's door. Ah, that's not good. Okay. Well, he's gonna get a little stressed, so maybe this will help him out. Yep, there we go. From becoming unwound. Uh, okay, this one's dead, thankfully. Five to nine. Let's see, six to twelve. Six to Oh, we can yawp. We'll yawp it. I'll give us a little time. Uh, and this will heal, maybe. I don't know if this will actually work. The slow death, unforeseen. I hope Obama doesn't die. That's just how I usually feel. I wake up every day, look in the mirror, and I say, I hope Obama doesn't die. I'm 
大叔。Okay, well, here, let's get your protection down. As my ebbs, Ooh. terrible vistas of emptiness reveal. Oh, those terrible vistas of emptiness. Oh, those terrible vistas of emptiness. It's okay. And we're we're okay to Obama's fine for now. Nobody worry, Obama's okay. For now. Okay, let's just let's get him. Suckers are. Okay, okay, this is all right. Um, let's reduce your stress. Distressed. Inspiration and improvement. Get some inspiration and get some improvement. You're, you'll be fine. Resist. We can't do that. They've got a lot of protection also. How about... Perfect. Pre-digestion. A gross name. Anything really. But then chewing, chewing is pre digestion if you think about it. So, uh oh, Donald, Donald's on death door. The true test. Hold fast or expire. Hold fast, please. Don't expire. We've had too many clowns die. Every clown we've had has died so far. We've had two clown deaths. Please don't make it a third.
bust and resist it's not going to work. They also have a lot of protection. Nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. They can be felled and they can be beaten. Okay, we'll leave we'll leave this stuff behind. Okay. I've got a little bit of No, we can't get the busts. Okay, uh let's get rid of we gotta have those busts. Let's get rid of this. Okay, there's nothing behind here. We have one battle left. everybody up. They're all surprised. The situation is perfect. a second. What? One of your heroes has the Crimson Curse. The curse is not like other diseases. It can't be cured normally in the sanitarium. The only way to keep it at bay is with the blood. It's less 
max HP. But if we use the blood, I think it helps. I don't know. Well, sometimes that's how it goes, right? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Hey, you know, we do have the... Maybe it, maybe it like this, Giggle McTrickle. supplies uh, I mean giggle is all the way a vampire as far as I'm as far as I can tell if you crave drinking blood I think you're already a vampire I'm no vampire scientist let's just take a quick peek how about this Oh, okay, we got like a little nice a fortune waiting to be spent. All right, Paths and roads we made it. Soldiers and supplies, let them arrive on Harry. And we got 18 deeds, and nothing else bad happened. Just loves Pluto. Giggles like, I think Pluto should still be a planet. Uh, resilient and prismatic isolation. 25% deep of resist. One hero per roster. That seems great. Hippocratic plus 20% healing skills. Do note, Obama has no healing skills, but if, if he did, they would be much better than other people's, and 10% HP. Why, why do that? Why tease me like that? You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. That's so menacing. An excommunicated madman has responded to the growing infestation in kind, fueled by conviction. He is merciless and plies his trade with extreme prejudice. The fanatic will stalk parties with infected heroes. Oh, that's not, that's not something I enjoy. I don't like that. Okay, um, Vox 
dogs led a night on the town and recovered a lot of stress. No longer fearful. That's great. Foxel, I'm happy that you had a great time. Uh, zombies has impressed the abbot with piety. Was given a trinket as a gift. A nice health stone. Got 69 stress gone. Well, that's great. Uh, Demarcus meditated and recovered 56 stress. And Spark got rid of those bad humors. Nice, you know. We love that. We got another Hellion and a Vestal. Oh. And we can increase. No, no, you're done. You are finally done, pray. In this domain of the damned. Domain of the damned. I love a domain of the damned. So we've got a Vestal. Um, I say, let's go with Verdun. And then we're gonna call for Dune. Jeebus. Um, there we go. And then we'll get up in that party. Boom. A sister of Babel. Sister. And unrelenting. Yes, sister. And I think we should get this alien. Um, are they Arno Dor- who is Arno Dorian? I need to look up Arno Dorian. Arno Dorian. Dorian. Okay, they're from... Assassin's Creed. Uh, which one? French, so they're from the French one. Is that Unity? Wasn't that one of the bad ones? I didn't play it. I heard that one was really buggy. Alright. This is my first time seeing this man. Assassin's Creed Unity. Aha, okay. Um, Alright, so we'll wait for an assassin-like character instead. But I will just grab this this Hellion. And unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. They truly do. You gotta admit. You gotta admit they do. Okay, so we're gonna be going up um, against. Well, let's see. Let's see before we commit to anything here. Um, Alright, the Brigand 8 pounder. Why is this still. Level one. You know, okay, so we've got the Martyr's Seal, um, which is more damage, more crit at death's door, and more death blow resistance, and more HP. I feel like that's not terrible for specifically um, for Ilmater, I think because of his specific class, he has a high death blow resistance, um, which might, it's risky, but maybe that's good, right? Maybe, I could see that being okay. Um, and we also have fortifying garlic, Ooh, 33 blight, bleed, and disease resistance. Now that just 
seems overall pretty decent. Um, let's see. The fortifying garlic, the martyr's seal. Um, Siren and the Brigand Eight Pounder. Those are both, let's see. Uh, now I remember the Brigand Eight Pounder or whatever as being a big machine, not a person. So that's actually. Like 
man, we really, we really did kind of screw up. If, I, if I'm being honest, I didn't know level three was like so easily attained and the cutoff point Like it's it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate, uh, but it does keep it hard. It does keep it challenging, right? To know that we actually only have like seven people to work with. You're in the garden. Oh, that's lovely. It's always nice being in the garden, especially at night. It's always so peaceful out there. I'm glad you're having a good time. Okay. So GK, this will be GK's last outing until they're level three. Uh, so we do have to make it count. are the three main ones that you're going to be using and then it's like whether you want to have that one or this one and maybe you can get more done if you do have that you know I, I guess I could try it I've never given it a good shot it's it is a decent self heal
salvation. I don't know, do we have any other way to deal with stealthed enemies? So far we haven't really run into too many. Okay, I will say that. like, yeah, thanks, I guess. It's not great, but okay. Um, Vonsel does like hanging around town. Y'all, y'all really do love chilling after work, and I don't blame you. I think we place too much effort on, um, people needing to work all the time. It's like, take time for yourself. You deserve it. Let's go with this one. Get the two stripes. Two stripes. Two stripes. Uh, okay, so we have let's sort. Slayer ring, a 
which is probably good for this class. Then the kicks. Then, so this one actually, we're gonna go give this one to, um, to GK because GK should us all. chance of being surprised. Sure. I mean, or we could go with this. Just save a little bit on food. Why not? two together, this one and that one. And then we also have that one. Okay, so I could just do this one and this one. That's 25% damage and some accuracy. And then Obama. Just go with that. 
add some extra stress, but it'll be okay. Because GK is going to be out of commission after this. And they're not going to be able to participate in any battles. Alright. Uh, and not that I am uh, worried. I'm just going to go ahead and reserve a sister an extra vestal. Pious and unrelenting. This is, this is nobody for right now. Right now, this is nobody. They don't, they're just in case, in case we don't see a Vestal for a long time and we need one. Uh, so we're just, you know, we're saying for now, on the back burner. And Thorel, uh, we should give a name to Thorel. of the Hell Zone, the Hellsian. I think that works. Uh, okay. Um, so we've got our team. Let's make sure they're in the right spots. Okay, looks like that's good. Infestation grows, infestation medium. Is that something I should be concerned about? Do I need to be... Do I need to be going here to, to deal with this? Let's not worry about it for now. positioning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go kill that siren. Um now I believe that the siren refers to the creature known as Siren Head. Gonna be fighting just this guy with a suit who has a big loudspeaker on his head, uh, which I've I've been on the record as saying pretty lame cryptid guys. You can do better. Like clearly just trying to do the Slender Man thing, and I'm not impressed. Absolutely, five out of ten. Cryptid. Uh, all right, so we're going to the cove, and we're gonna get eighteen food. We're gonna get thirteen torches. 
torches. Uh, and then we're gonna get three shovels. And we're gonna get two more shovels. Let's just let's just do four shovels. position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office and there was a time when i could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation you don't want to be molested as the tide when why you're drinking a glass no, absolutely not a hobby to shadow my every errand it was charming then troublesome later did you make her into a siren you nasty rude man how dare you? I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little waif. Listen up. Don't turn people into sirens just because they're bothering you. Okay, folks? Just, uh, just talk. Just let them know. Beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. All right, watch out for this trap. I bet you can do it. You've got hundred percent, absolute. All right, and we've got a battle here. Supplies. Harry, all of them. Let's see, would this kill anybody? Oh, maybe, potentially. But I think it's probably better that we go off with this. Masterfully executed. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Look at that. Iron Swan. Yeah. Obliterated. Oh, holy shit. I will feast on your heart. That's badass. Also, when you're talking about a fish, not as, not as gross as you might think. Like, if you say that to, like, if you say it to a chicken, and they're like, I will eat your wings. You're like, yeah, that's what you usually do. I will bite your ass meat. That's a cow. Yeah, it's okay to do that. How's it going, McClink? Click. This could, this could be a kill, and it is. Okay, and then, well, everybody's at full health, so we don't need. And then we can have 
Sound Rush. Let's go with the shovel. A stalwart buckle for the highwayman. Um, a common distress fracture chance. Uh, I don't think we need that. I don't think we need that. I'm not out here trying to collect. what would happen if we give it a dog treat. If we run into another one, we'll do the dog treat. Okay, so I can, we kind of have to guess which one is going to be, which direction the siren is going to be in. I think it's going to be this way, because it seems it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, right? You'd make it the longer path if you're going to do one. Otherwise, you just have the super long path that leads to nothing. And while I do think it is random, like it's randomly generated, I don't think it's that randomly generated. Okay, we've got the bass relief. Was this one that we skip? Bass. Okay, you do a shovel and you get 100 stress. Okay. All right, so we can use a shovel on this and get 100 stress. No thanks. Um, we could get a random positive or negative quirk, though. Let's see. Is there anyone who wants that? Honestly, um... You know, let's try it. Ashen, is that good or bad? That's bad. That's bad. Well, you win some, you lose some. Nothing here. What do we got? Battle, battle, then nothing. Okay, do battles. Um, All right, 
this guy will like just freaking blow up. So we just have to kill him. Hope he doesn't blow up. Fish carcass. Fish carcass. Fish carcass. Fish carcass. Fish carcass. We can use some medicinal herbs. Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of shit. It's a lot of good stuff there. Okay, how about have a little snack? A star is born. If I could have one Pokemon companion, which Pokemon would it be? Uh, ditto. I will not be. I will not be saying my reasons further. No further questions. I 
if we have any damage skills on her. So would it be more worthwhile to get a stun or do the heal? Maybe the stun. is Pikachu because your emotional support stuffy is Pikachu and he's your best best friend. That's so cute. I don't think that's basic. Listen, Pikachu is loved for a reason. Love if love and Pikachu's wrong, then I don't want to be right. medicinal herbs but I worry that we'll need those can 
live without that gold. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Yeah, it'd be nice if treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Since stun resisted, we can stun, but we'll get 90 or plus 20 percent. No, plus plus 90 percent from Mark. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, not that great, but pretty good. All right, the tide is high, but I'm moving on. Does extra damage versus stunned. Oh, but you've got the extra protection, maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's just go with this then. Oh, 16, that's not bad. It's very good. Oh, that's gonna be stress, right? Okay, stress. Stress, 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 stress. Still not. 
safety. The light is the promise of safety. Okay, this guy will die now. Fight for love. That was a big hit. It's high tide. Ooh, what if we stun? Right? Then they can't attack us. Oh, don't do that. That's gross. Inspiration and improvement. Nice. Smart thinking on my part. Now we just need to deal with the fact that she's in the back, and that's bad. Okay, we could do up to 21 damage with this. Actually, I didn't realize. 
as that gets rid of the protection over there. That's 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 not bad. One HP left. Okay, no, we can do this though. Unless you heal, do not. Do not. Okay, alright, okay, that's fine. The most tranquil dream. I like that it's a nice dream that they have. this horrible night, you know, they switch sides and they're like allied with the sea people. They're like, I had a great dream. It felt really nice. Oh, that's the best attack. You just hug the dog. She has no place in the sane world. That's what I'm saying. No place in the sane world. Zephyrus, thank you for asking. Photomania, minus 20 stress of torches above 75, which is good because hopefully it will always will be. Clutch hitter, five, plus 5 quick, okay, that's well, maybe won't come into play very much. That could have been anything, something scary. It's Martis Grass. Martis Grass. Celebrating Martis and his grass. We've got a free bar, free gambling hall, free brothel. Hell yeah. Awesome. Fox was moving sluggishly after a long night of drinking. Tell me about it. Is that just for like one week? 
week or something. Uh, Nona Halzone could not achieve a meditative state, has become frustrated. Er, I'm never going to meditate again. Er. But he did recover 62 stress. That's nice. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Okay, we've got Eleanor Digby. We've got Villardane. Chauncey and Vernold. Just some normal folks. All right, so we could go and get a um, I mean, bounty hunter or vile harding could either both of them could end up being our um, our assassin, right? Our assassin's creed assassin. If you use your imagination. Um, so it's about whether we'd want a second of either of them. Did Ashmo die? No, Ashmo's just level three. And um, we can't use level threes on quests until we get that high. Basically, all these people uh, can't go on quests until we get to level three quests. Um, so basically, suffering from success there. Ashmo's fine, ready to go. They won't go. They won't lower themselves to the level of doing these simple quests we're on. And to which I say, I'm sorry. We have to beat the bosses. I didn't realize there were two bosses they had to fight at level one before you could go to level three. I thought it was just one. That's what it seems like. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm like misremembering because we do this once a week for four hours. But I think that's how it's been working. Now, is there a place we'd use a second bounty hunter or a second? Um, I don't think we'd want two bounty hunters. They're pretty useful. What do y'all what do y'all think? We should we get a second flagellant or a second bounty hunter? Bounty hunters do a shitload of damage when they're set up right. Um, so I think I think that's that could be pretty good. Flagellants are all right. I think that they don't do as much. They basically kind of like rely on bleed, which is good. Bleed is good when people can bleed. Um, but they're really more focused on surviving, which is important. into it bounty hunter the thrill of the hunt the promise of payment Ooh, the promise of payment uh, this is going to be uh, from Assassin's Creed Arno Dorian an assassin is a lot like a bounty hunter it's just that a bounty hunter doesn't always kill people let's see
no, dying. Dying's not always great. Like, I mean, dying can be fun, but like, ideally we would do it less often, if possible. Um, I don't know about the survivalist, maybe we'll upgrade that at some point. So, it's so low, we might as well. All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin and All right, good night, zombies. We have not been upgrading either. Like, maybe, but like, these are way too expensive for us, even nowadays. Um, like, we're getting a little bit more comfortable, but not, not enough where I feel comfortable doing anything with that. Uh, oh, we did get some shards. I know they can get stuff from this guy. skill chance, more stress, more accuracy. Ignore stealth, okay. okay. I mean, this does seem all right. I mean, maybe you wanna like save up for some of these more rare ones, so. More special ones. These do seem pretty sweet. Look at all that. Um, let's see where we should go. Oh, look at that. GK is like. Don't bother me with petty distractions. He won't even go on this boss battle. But the good news is since we got that, that um, extension and grew a party list, uh, we have more people who can kind of bring in Relaxation, ooh, uh, um, 90% of rooms, camper's helmet, the sacred scroll, oh, you know, that doesn't seem so bad. The sacred scroll.
so I could see that. I can see that being pretty, pretty useful. So we could, I think we could uh, kill the Brigand 8-pounder as our, um, uh, as our next goal. So let's do it like we usually do and set up the party for that and hopefully remember um, that we were going to do that for next time. Uh, now that, like I said, the Brigand 8-pounder is a machine, but it's led by people. So the big thing about it is you can't bleed it because it's a machine. Um, and that's, that's probably the biggest concern with, um, with using people like, you know, say, a flagellant, right? If you can't bleed it, like, what are you doing? I don't know if you can blight it. You might have to go with regular damage. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. straight damage, so he might be a good choice. Um, these guys are a little stressed. I don't know if we want to send him right in. Um, Donald McRonald does bleed damage and mostly stress healing, so maybe not that. as damage dealer, you know, trans, excuse me, transformed, that could be okay. Um, Giggle McJiggle has straight damage as well. Uh, they do have the madness in their veins, which is you know, unfortunate, for sure. You never want to have the madness in your veins. Sometimes, what can you do? Um, we will need a healer, and I feel like it might have to be... be nobody. So we might have to decide who nobody is. Um, and let's see. Probably 
I need someone who can attack from the back or from position three. Which we are kind of lacking. Um, I guess we could go with Arno. Arno can maybe do that. Uh, yes, yeah, so if we got this, I know what, what's her deal? So we haven't used her in a little bit. So she moves forward with the armor piercing attack, forward with the puncture attack. She can go back with Impale, and she can do this one, which does Blight and extra damage to Marked people. This one can do a de-stealth. So I might want to give her judgment. Okay. Yeah. So she'll be great from the back then. Then Arno has collect bounty. Arno's going to be from position three, I think. So uppercut would not be a good one to use. Finish him. We can do uh, caltrips. Let's see. Yeah, uppercut. Uppercut. We won't be able to do. Um, but we can do that one. And and caltrips we don't want because it has. minus four speed to them, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, that's, that's okay, but we have our Vestal to de-stealth if we need it. Um, now this, this one, it might be good, uh, Serpent's Way, which just gives you two blocks. Um, that's a good defensive move. I don't know, let's see if there's anything we wouldn't need for that. Um, 
So the only thing, this one is, is a damage bot minus 50. Um, Chess breaks guard and bypasses guard. So you don't really want to use it for damage too much because it is half as effective. So you might want to use this one more for damage. The pierce. So unless you don't want to captivate, which uh, is still okay as long as you can blight, and I'm not sure if you can blight um, the guy or not. I don't think you can, but I really don't know. It's been a long time. So let's just go with these. And then let's make sure we've got our armors up. Ooh, a stitched bedla, a fine bedla. That, that'll be a, a great boon. So basically, that'll make it so we don't have to worry so much about these two dying, but we do actually very much have to worry about these two dying. Um, and then as far as Trinkums go. Let's see. GK. Let's take these off. And then Obama. Let's take these off. And uh, Ilmater. Let's take those off. Eventually we'll have enough that we don't have to take them off, people. But uh, for now, we really do. Okay, so we actually have a limit here. So I'm gonna actually go sell a couple of these, uh, like, commons. These dirty commons, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Let's see, extra accuracy, let's HP. Let's see, Houndmaster. Uh, okay, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like we can do better than all these nowadays, you know? Like, even this one, even that one. That's, that's good for now. Okay. Um, all right, so Donatella. We've got a shimmering scale. It's extra protection and stress. And put light skill chance. You know, we don't need that. Uh, Peepums has the extra protection and crit. Are any of these folks ranged? I don't think they are. Oh, you know what? Donatella kind of is. Like, except for the first one.
much damage and more damage. That's what we want. This one has a little protection on it, so we'll give it to Peepums, our man at arms. Um, and then damage and damage. And then for our Vestal. This is extra HP, which could be good too, though. Sixty-seven death blow resist. That'll raise that to how much? Seventy-nine. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe I'll just take that because the blood suckers. It's only good against the bloodsuckers. Alright. I think that team looks excellent. I think we've got everyone we can from the stagecoach. I think um, uh, oh, we had we had free bar night. Let's go to the bar. Party at the bar. And Jeebus. We know Jeebus loves a good gamble. Life is a gamble. It's true. Alright. And then... And you know what? Let's just head to
taking with me on the journey that we all lived to tell the tale. Um, I'm going to have a stream that's a little earlier tomorrow, 5 p.m. PST to 9 p.m. PST, if you can join me. I'm going to be playing Death Stranding uh, to welcome in the weekend our very own strand of days, a strand of days where we have relaxation. Sunday, we're going to be playing some more Zelda, because we have finished Stardew Valley. If you missed the thrilling conclusion to Stardew Valley, the VOD's up, but you can go watch that. And um, on Monday, we'll have more fun Minecraft. Wednesday, we'll have extra Zelda two times a week, so we can maybe somehow finish this that game before next year. Um, and then on Thursday, we'll be these adventures. And so I hope you'll enjoy that. Uh, and if you think you will, um, I've got YouTube at youtube.com slash Hellzone Club. We've also got Discord and Twitter. Uh, feel free to follow any or all of those at your own discretion. See you.